here's a Reliance Electric inverter drive model ISU21002. Had a bad cooling fan that was seized up in it. Now we're going to run a motor. Now we're going to apply 220 volts AC, three phase to RS and T, and here UV and W is the motor connection. Here is our stop switch. Has to be closed. You open that to stop the motor. Here's our start switch. We close that to start. And here's our speed reference potentiometer. And they all connect to this terminal board back here. Oh, we just powered up the drive. Let's close the start switch. And right now we're running at 481 RPM. We change the speed of the motor with this potentiometer. All right, here's the cooling fan that I changed out. That's a good running drive right there. That's real smooth. All right, let's look at the UVW waveforms on that fluke oscilloscope. There's U to V, and that is nice. Spread that out and look at that PWM. Here's U to W. And lastly, here's V to W. That is perfect. There we go. Now when I get back to the house, I'll show you the drawings of my hookups. It's a real easy drive to hook up. Very easy. Okay, folks, we'll see you then. Evening. Oh, it's cold and raining outside. <laughs> I just got back in from filling up the bird feeder so the birds can warm up their bellies with some good food uh, before the sun goes down. Here we are in winter time again. Where'd that last year go? <laughs> These years go by much much too fast these days these days or the years they're interchangeable anymore <laughs> here is the control
connections that I used uh, to run that Reliance Electric inverter drive SP500 model number 1SU21002. Up here on pin 1, 2, and 3 of the control terminal board is the speed reference input. On terminal 1 we have uh, plus 15 volts DC out to the potentiometer to power up the potentiometer and ground on pin 3. And the speed reference pin 2 to the wiper of that potentiometer. When the potentiometer is rotated towards ground, the drive runs slower. And when the potentiometer is rotated up towards plus 15 volts DC, that motor runs faster. Now down here on terminal 6 we have the stop input, terminal 7 we have the start input, terminal 9 we have forward when the switch is open, reverse when the switch is closed, and all of this connected to 24 volts DC common. On pin 10, we have a coast to stop input. Now, the data sheet, and you can look this up on the internet, all you have to do is uh, type in Reliance Electric SP500, and you'll get a PDF on uh, a manual on this drive. It states that you can use this uh, terminal 10 as an e-stop input or a thermal, a motor thermal input. And I just jumped it out 10 to 11. So, the stop input is a normally closed switch that we open when we want to stop. The start input is a normally open switch that we close when we want to run. The forward reverse switch open to run forward which would be clockwise and we close that switch to re run uh, reverse counterclockwise. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's Fairly simple drive to run. <laughs> Let's go down and we'll look at the power connections. Here are the power connections. There's RS and T, plus and minus, and you can look at your uh, bus voltage out here. U, V, and W that connects to the motor. Now, RS and T, that is our line voltage in. It's three phase, 220 volts AC on RS and T. The motor, I used a Baldor 1.5 horsepower squirrel cage induction motor connected to UVNW. Now, when we look at the plus and minus voltage, we should see fairly close to 300, 310 volts DC right here on these two terminals when we have 220 volts AC applied to RS and T. There you go. <laughs> Wasn't that easy? I wish everything I worked on was this easy. <laughs> it never is. So. Every now and then I get thrown to bone. And uh, uh, this drive here, there wasn't nothing wrong with it except for that cooling fan. And the drive uh, didn't want to work properly without 
cooling. <laughs> okay. All right, folks. We'll see you next time. Enjoy your time on this side of the dirt. <laughs>